Hello and welcome to my code coffee. In this chapter we will discuss what is Merkle tree and what is its use in the world of blockchain. So what is a Merkle tree? Simply put Merkle tree is a binary tree data structure which is used to calculate Merkle root and derive Merkle path. In previous chapter I explained how Merkle root plays a key role in the formation of chain in the blockchain. So here let us first understand how Merkle root is calculated. and then we will talk about merkle path merkle tree is called tree because it is binary branched data structure but this tree is upside down and the root is at the top so let us assume that there are four transactions a b c and d leaf of the merkle tree will be the double hash of these transactions let's say h a is the double hash of transaction a h b is the double hash of transaction b h c is the double hash of transaction c and so on so the leaf of this merkle tree will be h a h b h c and h d each of these hash value is obviously 32 byte because s h a 256 always gives a 32 byte output After that adjacent pairs are concatenated to create 60 64 byte string which is then double hashed to get 32 byte string you keep on doing that till you get a single 32 byte value this value is called merkle root now as you can see merkle tree needs transactions to be in even number so that they can form pairs so if there is odd number of transactions then last transaction is repeated to make it even since sha256 hash always gives a fixed 32 byte value no matter how many transactions are there its merkle root is always a 32 byte value in this way merkle root summarizes all the transactions and if you change any transaction it will change the value of merkle root this example is based on four transactions but you can generalize it for n transactions ultimately you will get a 32 byte merkle root now let us say we have a block whose header has this merkle root normally a block will have hundreds of transactions but for simplicity let us assume that this block has 16 transactions from a to p if you want to prove that these 16 transactions belong to this block you can prove it by calculating the merkle root if merkle root that you calculated is equal to the merkle root of the header of this block then all these 16 transactions belong to this block but let's say you are interested in only one transaction you want to know if transaction d belongs to this block or not so somehow you need to prove that hash of transaction d which is hd is the leaf node of the merkle tree whose merkle root is this now if you have remaining 15 transactions also then obviously you can calculate merkle root and this will prove that this transaction belong to the same block whose header has this merkle root but do you really need remaining 15 transactions to get to the merkle root answer is no in fact you need much less values to get to the merkle root think about it hash of d is hd you will need hc so that you can concatenate hd and hc and uh, double hash it to calculate hcd now you will need hab so that you can concatenate hab and hcd and then double hash it to get habcd now you need hefgh so that you can concatenate habcd and hefgh and then double hash the result to get habcd efgh now you need hijk lmnop so that you can concatenate it with habcd efgh and double hash it to get merkle root so to prove that transaction d belongs to this block you needed hc hab hefgh and hijk lmnop so you just need four values to prove that one transaction out of 16 transactions belong to this block if you have n transactions you will need only base 2 log of n values to calculate merkle root for any transaction this becomes very important as the number of transaction increase because for a very large number of transactions in in a block if you want to prove that one of them belong to this block you need very less number of hash values these set of hash values which is sufficient to calculate merkle root and prove that a particular transaction belongs to that block is called merkle path So if you think about the use of merkle tree number 1 it is used to calculate merkle root and merkle root is part of the header of the block remember that merkle tree is not stored anywhere in the blockchain system it is only merkle root which is stored in the header of the block 
Second use is to verify if a transaction belongs to a particular block or not and that is done by using Markle path. This second use comes into picture in a particular type of node called SPV node or simplified payment verification node. So as you can see, Markle tree is very efficient data structure which is used to summarize the transactions in the form of Markle root and it is also used to efficiently verify a transaction if it belongs to a particular block. We will see the practical use of Markle tree in the chapter of simplified payment verification. Hope you like this chapter. Have a good day and enjoy my code coffee. If you now want to move to the next chapter, you can click on this card. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon because so many interesting videos are on the way. For easy navigation to all chapters, visit mycodecoffee.com. Thank you so much for watching.